at the West End Park in Pensacola. And uh, this is near Pensacola Beach and near Fort Pickens, the main gate. And there's a beach side and a sound side that we could try metal detecting. But I'm here with my dad, John Long Silver, and my brother, the Silver Stingray. I'm a little bit discombobulated because I thought we were going after dinner and my dad and brother went to go before dinner. So I just grabbed some stuff and I don't have my hat or a few things that I might need. But I'm going to just try to make do and at least do a short hunt here. So there you have it. It's probably in the low 90s with 3 to 5 mile an hour winds. Hope you enjoy this one. J-Man out. So this is what it looks like on the way in. And there's a nice boardwalk over here. They have picnic tables, they have restrooms, and uh, it's like a pretty good place. Okay, so the J-Man's back with you. And I got a, a pair of ladies' sunglasses a few minutes ago, and I didn't get that on video but I'll show it my wrap up. It was a real jumpy signal, so I didn't video it. But now I'm getting a 75, 76 at six inches deep on the Garrett AT Pro. Deep. So let's give it a whirl. Let's see what this is. So this is my first time using the chest mount. I'm using the GoPro on the chest mount, so hopefully that'll work out okay. I think I might know what this is already. Oh, okay. It's an eye find, actually. <laughs> might be. Looks like a uh, somebody left their fishing lure here. And uh, so there you have it. First thing on the board, but it looks like a pretty good lure. Not sure if you, what you would use that for exactly, but maybe trout. Okay. So I'm about uh, 20 feet away from the surf, pretty much along the towel line. And I went about 100 yards right of the main boardwalk where I came in. And I'm getting a signal, 76, 75. It's a little bit jumpy, but it's clear. 75 this way. Pretty shallow, two inches, so I'm gonna give it a try. I think it's in the scoop. I'll show you what we got here. Well, looks like we're on the board with our first coin here, Metal Sharks. It's a Union Shield Design Penny. That's what it looks like. It's really smooth. Actually, I don't know if that's a yeah, it's a Union Shield design. It just looked a little so smooth, it looked a little funny. But glad to have it. First coin of the day. So on the board there at Metal Sharks. 74. 75. A little bit jumpy, six inches deep. Let's see what this is. Might just be a bottle cap, I'm thinking, or a penny. That's more of For a second. Oh, I've dropped it right here. Okay. So this is another Lincoln penny, Union Shield design. So there you have it. Lincoln penny. Second one of the day.
Okay, this is where the penny was, so let's do a little bit of a spiral pattern. See if there's a spill here or a pocket of coins. It's a signal right there. Shallow. 75, repeatable. So let's get that one. Probably another penny. I think I see it. Yep. So this one is a Lincoln Memorial, but it's not the Union Shield design. So there you have it, the Lincoln Memorial penny. Third one of the day. These are fine in some coins. There's got to be some uh, other coins here, like nickels, dimes, and quarters. Haven't found any yet. But my spiral pattern was working. That's an idea I got from, I think he's called New York Detecting, or Metal Detecting NYC, or New York City, Merrill. So thanks, Merrill. Good idea. Let's do this spiral pattern. So I think maybe those are just the only two coins there in that little area. So I'm going to let you know when I get my next signal. Got another signal here for you. 77, 81, 78, two inches deep. Right here. Let's see if we've got it. It's still in the hole. Okay, I see it. Now this is interesting. Wow, this is something good. It's at least some kind of for a necklace. I don't know if it's gold colored, but I don't know if that's real gold or not. I'll have to test it. That's exciting. It could be something really good. Wow. Pumped up here. Number C, letter C on it. Pretty cool. Wow. So I guess I better look around here some more. See if there's anything else. Maybe the uh, chain is here. I'm going to do a tight spiral pattern here. Trying to see if my dad, John Long Silver, has a signal over there. Looks like maybe he does. The bottle cap? How far back? I found, I think I found something that might be good. I'll show it to you later. Got three pennies and one good item so far. What was that one? Pop, pop. Oh, okay. Another pop top. Another pop top. So this is the J-Man again with Bella 
Sharks with my wrap up from going to West End Park near Fort Pickens at Pensacola Beach. So up here I have a fishing lure which I think is good for trout or maybe small fish in the surf and then this says a, a balloony tube blue so I guess that's some kind of children's thing for a party maybe and then it looks like a little girl's tea plate and a pair of ladies glasses and then three pop tops three Lincoln pennies one of them being a Lincoln Memorial and the other two being Union Shield designs and what the oldest penny is 2001 one Michelob Ultra and then this even came up it's part of a zipper pull but the best item looks like this pendant from a necklace it says C on the front and there's no obvious markings to let me know whether it's 14 karat gold or not I don't see any engraving like that but on this side there are some initials initials that appear to be JD so my thinking is why would somebody have their initials engraved in a pendant if it wasn't worth something so I'm not sure if this is real gold but it, it might be but I think it was a valuable to somebody who lost it and it was a nice find so there you have it possible gold but I'll probably get my brother to test it he has a gold testing kit so hopefully we can find out more about that before we do this video there you have it J man out So after further tests, it does look like even the 10K is eating through the material. So maybe it's not gold plated. Still a very exciting find. So this is the J-Man again from Metal Sharks. And I wanted to say that my dad, John Long Silver, was tired after we detected because we had all traveled and uh, then had some family events going on with a nephew's graduation. But at any rate, he was too tired to do his wrap-up then, but he did say that he found a dime and two or, th two or three pennies, and he also found a lot of beach toys, including a floaty for my nephew, who's two. And then my brother, the Silver Stingray, found about a dollar's worth of loose change, and that was about it. So there you have it.